Hi, and welcome to Mac Tech Tutorials yet again. Today we are going to learn about going over and looking at the different features of iTunes. Okay, so I know you think that iTunes is okay, everyone knows it, it's easy type of application. But truth being, I have a sister, and that sister seems to always be asking me about, you guessed it, iTunes all types of different things and this program can be surprisingly hard to understand at some times so we're just going to look and review it just a little bit so you can kinda get a deeper understanding of it and we're going to go in more in-depth tutorials later okay so first open iTunes this from your doc Okay, when it's open, it might ask you for to download an update. For now, I don't want to interrupt the tutorial, so I'm just going to say don't download it. Okay, I only have one song in here. Yes, it is quite sad. Okay, so starting over here, we have Ping Apple's social network. Now, my sister the other day asked me, what is Ping and why is it on my iTunes? Well... Ping is basically Apple's social network fail. Now I know you're thinking, why did Apple try to make a social network? Well, I don't know, okay? I just don't know. But whatever they did with it, they failed, okay? So, um, you can learn more about Ping if you really want to try it, but there's not really many people on there right now, so yeah. Right here, this is where we, your music is. I only have one song here. It's kind of sad that I only have one song. Yeah. You get it. And, okay. This is your movies, TV shows, and radio. For movies, I don't have any movies, but they would usually show up around here. TV shows, usually there would be TV shows there. And for radio, it's all types of different radio genres you can choose from. Now here's your iTunes store. It's basically organized by this week. What's popular? This week. Recent hits, which is more like recent stuff. Down here, you might see some single of the week and some stuff that they're trying to promote. Down here, you're going to get to your movie section, new movies, TV shows. And this is where I like to call Apple's little promoting section right here because they've been promoting like that for quite a while. More music. And at the bottom there's free and sometimes it can be very good. Like let's see what's here. There's a Lion King podcast. Okay. And to get... Okay. We didn't review this. This is a little bar up here. There's um home thing. Music, there's a little drop down menu where you can choose your genre of music and you can see the top tens and stuff for that kind of music. Movies, TV shows, app store where you can buy apps for your iPhone and then you can see the top tens and the apps here. Um, see their favorites. Um, Books here, podcasts, iTunes U, and of course the failing ping. So to get back home, you just click that, and then to see what's um, doing well, you can just click that. Click any one of those right there. Okay, so here's where the bit of the iTunes toughiness comes in. Okay, so first we have our iTunes menu about iTunes. For your version of iTunes, I'm just running iTunes 10, nothing too great. Okay. Um, okay. Now for preferences, what you have here? Um, it's going to say my library and my movies, TV show, podcast, blah, blah, blah. 
you can choose to crossfade songs, you can choose to enhance songs, or automatically it just playback volume at the same level. Um, play videos using stereo definition, although I don't know why you would want to do that unless you're a computer which cannot handle high definition, like the older Macs, but... Share my library on my local network. Okay. This is a very handy, useful feature if you have multiple computers and you have one person on a computer and then you have another person on another computer and you want to share one person's library with the other person wirelessly so they can play it over Wi-Fi. And you can share my library. Click that. You can choose to share what you would like, movies, TV shows, books. You can require a password, which you'll have to... It'll still show up, but you have to type in a password before you can get access to it. Okay, I'm just gonna... Now, automatic downloads. This has to do more with the new versions of iTunes, iCloud, and iOS 5 with the automatic downloads. Parental controls. This is for parents to be able to adjust what type of content their kids can get. And if anyone was wondering about this, it's in the preferences right here. Devices. If you had a device connected to your iTunes, but I don't, it would show up here. Then you can delete backups, which I don't know why you would want to do that unless you're not going to ever be syncing more. Remember them being sync on Macly right there. And allow iTunes audio control from remote speakers. And iTunes is not paired with any remotes. Okay. And the advanced tab. You can change the location of the iTunes media folder on your computer. You can keep it organized. Set all dialogue warning. And reset iTunes store cache. And there's the mini player, which is a small mini version of iTunes. If you have like a small screen and you just want to show that instead of iTunes, if you're listening to some music, that's very helpful. And keep movie window on top of all other windows. Okay. So this is just your preferences in general. But there's a lot more menus. You can make a new playlist in iTunes add songs to your library and look up in your folders like pretend you add some music to your music folder and wanted to um import it you could import it like that for library you can organize your library and import playlists um under the view tab you have column browser visualizer um and enter full screen. Let's see what that does. And it makes your iTunes app be in full screen. A new a newish feature of line and when you put your mouse up near the top, you can see that the menu bar comes up. It helps you explore things in full screen, which is quite nice for movie trailers. And considering I have a twenty seven inch trailer, that's even nicer considering that I can go across the entire screen. Controls. You can choose to play next and previous if you're playing music. You can increase volume and decrease volume, and here's the keyword commands for that. You can choose to shuffle your music and repeat and eject a disc if you have that in. Start back, roll a page. Turn on Genius. Genius is rather an old feature designed to basically match songs that you have with similar songs in your existing library. I mean, I've used it a bit. It's not that helpful for me, so I just don't use it. Authorize. If I want to be able to play iTunes Store content that I bought, like, on this computer, I have to authorize it. You can authorize up to five accounts. I meant five computers per account. Um... Deauthorize, basically the same thing, so sign into your account, you can create a account and check for available downloads, which you might have downloaded through your iPod or some other source on your account. You can 
open stream, subscribe to a podcast, turn on home sharing. That's basically the same thing as sharing it over Wi-Fi, except you can download songs from one library to the other ones through Wi-Fi. And choose photos to share. You can share photos from your iTunes library along with your music and other things. And here we have, um, and you can get your album artwork if any of your albums are missing artwork. With the Windows, you can bring it to the front. And with Help, you can get your iTunes, normal iTunes help. Okay, I hope this helped a little bit in explaining iTunes just a little bit. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe.